Hi guys, back with a bit of a different video. So I'm gonna test out if my BB gun here is lethal or not. Okay, not actually on this cat. He is simply enjoying my new laser sight I got. And I'm trying to shoot some stuff, but I really don't want to hit the kitty. So, gotta take him out of here. Alright, so take a few shots. See if it can go through a half inch pine board. That's generally what the military uses to see if uh, a projectile is enough foot pounds to be lethal. And result, it stops. So you can pretty safely say this BB gun is not going to be harmful if you get shot by it. There are the bell uh, BBs that came out. So maybe these destroyer pellets are a little more dangerous. Actually, I'm not going to use them as destroyer pellets. Uh, I begin this by drilling out the center of the BB. This gives a nice hollow point cavity. And I don't even need a drill, just a drill bit and pressure because it's lead. Uh, it's really soft, seems to do the work uh, trick. And then once it's been hollowed out, I put a little bit of ink in there. This ink is to act as a dye, so when I shoot the pellet, you can see if it releases. Theoretically, this could be anything if you're choosing, uh, poison for pest control, etc. And filling up the hollow point with some ink. I then put a piece of aluminum foil over the top of the pellet, uh, making sure not to get ink in the borders. This is done with a bit of super glue, which should get the tin foil to stick. Then, once it's been put on, I gently tap it down a few times. Make sure the glue gets nice and spread out. Okay, once the tin foil has been stuck on, just a little bit of trimming. This is, well, it's not going to go in the gun very well to let tin foil on. And smearing down the sides with a blade. The goal is to get the perimeter of the pellet to be more exposed than the tin foil. So when it travels down the barrel, uh, the tin foil doesn't get ripped off. You can see it makes a nice little capsule with ink and a tin foil covering. This can be stored until ready to use, basically. So, with this gun here, it normally takes BBs. Uh, and I want to try to load a pellet in here. You can see the magazine just has a few BBs in it. And when you normally load the gun, the BBs would be pushed in from the magazine. So when we put a pellet in, we're going to make sure there's no BBs in the magazine and just preload the pellet into the barrel. This is done by first taking the gun apart and then loading the pellet into the barrel. You can also see there's no rifling in the barrel, so there would be no marks left on the pellet after firing. However, it does still fly straight because of the pellet's aerodynamic shape. The bat kind of acts as flights or fins on a rocket. So no rifling is even needed. Now that the pellet's nice and lodged in the barrel, the gun is just reassembled. And the pellets in there, kind of hard to see. So, to test, we uh, I'm going to use an apple. It has a fleshy skin and uh, should act as a good medium for the pellet to go through. Seems like I hit it dead center. And 
the pellet seem to go all the way through? Yep, there's the exit. And there's ink splattered pretty much all over the place. I wonder how the inside of the apple will look. So, just to find out, by cutting the apple in half, I should be able to see a nice ink trail. Wow. That's pretty cool. The ink I used was blue, evidently, and uh, you can see the whole trail going through the apple. If that was poison in there, it would have been pretty well dispersed. And, very surprising, the pellet went through the apple all the way, hit the cutting board at the back, and then bounced back in through the exit hole and landed back in the middle. Which goes to show it had quite a bit of extra energy. And then, looking at the pellet here, the aluminum foil basically got pushed into the cap and broke open, and old ink kind of sprayed out, and the hollow point edges flared. See, no more ink left in there. So, if this was a uh, poison or something, it would have been quite lethal, especially with how much that dispersed when it went inside the fruit. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.